Hey Pokemon trainers, welcome to another edition of Pokemon Trading Card Game Online. So, I hope you guys are having a super good Saturday today. I'm having a pretty good Saturday myself, and I just want to jump in and grab some uh, Pokemon games. So let's jump into a couple of games. I'm going to do a quick warm-up with the old Relentless Flame deck. Uh, see how we can do there, and then we'll jump into a, a tournament. We'll do a little Saturday tournament here, um, and hopefully we can take first place in that. And uh, and hopefully we can get that win streak up, and hopefully we can get this. Hopefully we just get a whole bunch of stuff going um, to uh, to have some fun with this game. So let's jump into a Relentless Flame, and, uh, and let's see how we can do with this one. Right, this high dragon deck has been uh, troublesome. I think it's a it's a good response to some of these new decks. Let's go for tails. All right, we'll go first. We'll go first on this one, and um, we'll uh, man, this high dragon is uh, is a bit tough. He can do a bunch of damage, and uh, he can get out pretty fast. He's a pretty good response to these brand new decks that are that have come out, as I've already said. Um, so let's see if we can uh, if we can gain a little bit of traction against this deck and keep the old win streak going. So starting off with a Nidoran, uh, Nidorina Rapidash, Pokemon Fan Club is going to be a good a big help, and we might even be able to Cynthia on turn two or something to that effect. Um, but I want I really want to do Pokemon Fan Club as soon as possible in order to get Rapidash into the active position. Um, so we can start dealing some damage with that. This, um, Snitterina is not great. Family Rescue is okay later in the game. But Bite, not very much damage. Call for Family, well, we might be able to call for Family this time. I think we can do that. Um, and then we might not be able to, or we might not do Pokemon Fan Club. Or maybe I will. Yeah, we'll do all, we'll do both. We'll do Call for Family, um, which I just realized I cannot do. So I'm going to Pokemon Fan Club. Uh, so let's do that. Uh, let's get our. Wait, what? Ponyta. Jeez, I almost uh, had a heart attack there. Um, so we're gonna get our Ponyta, and we're also going to get a. Hmm. Either Nidoran or Charmander. I think I'm gonna go for Nidoran for a bit more of a conservative play. Um, as you guys have seen in the past, <laughs> we've gotten into a little bit of trouble with some overly aggressive plays. Um, so I am going to take the uh, a bit of a shorter route here, or maybe a longer route here, um, to get to where we're going. Uh, we're not going to shoot for the Charizard right off the bat, uh, but I like having the Ponita and the other Nidoran. So as soon as we get our Nidoqueen, Queen, we can uh, we can start doing stuff and leaving this other Nidoran in the active position. Uh, just to call for family a couple times or maybe once uh, Singe might be problematic call for family maybe once uh, we can we can get our our board nice and filled up So I think this is gonna be okay I'm, I'm happy having Cynthia in my hand because I can get rid of a whole bunch of cards right now And then we can just Cynthia refresh the old hand and go from there Whoo all right, looks like our opponent is still setting up with a big Sophocles, and we expected to get singed this time, um, and that's okay. We're gonna keep our burn. So maybe I want to. What's my retreat cost here? Two on that one. I think I'm gonna retreat that out. Um, and do a searing flame with our Rapidash. Hmm. <laughs> I just need to decide where I want to put this knit arena. If I want to put it here or here. Um, I'm not sure yet. I'm not sure if I want to retreat this out or call for family one time. I'm afraid, though, that I'm going to lose this knit around. Let's leave it in where it's at. Let's put this here. Let's put this here. Let's Cynthia... See what we can grab. There's our Charmeleon. There's a switch, so that might be prudent to do right now. Searing Flame is going to take us to 40 on that Salandit. And if they get a Tails, then that, would, that should take care of it. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, I think I can forego calling for family this time. Um, if I would have got heads, I think I would have been a, a bit more 
confident here, but um, let's go ahead and do this. Get that switched out. Let's do a Searing Flame. Uh, we'll put Ponied up. We'll do a Searing Flame and uh, and get 40 damage or four damage counters on our Salandit or on our opponent's Salandit, and we'll go from there. All right, so that Salandit will be going down, um, and I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, if we get burned, I don't think it's going to be too big of a deal, um, as long as we can shed that burn. Um, but my opponent might be shedding his own burn right now uh, with a Salazzle or whatever it's called. I think it's Salazzle, isn't it? But I think Agility is going to be... Oh, no. He gets the Zavilius. Zavilius. I don't know how to say that. Um, so we just need to be mindful of what's going on here. What's going on with this Hound Doom? Fire Fang, Puncture, Fangs. No resistant burn, blah, blah. Okay. Not too bad. Um, so there goes the Salandit. We're okay with that. Rapidash takes a big 20, and we keep our burn. But that's okay. Kakui this time. Or how? That'll give us 80 on agility. Uh, but we do still have our burn on. I do want to put something here. What do I want to do? Kukui or how? Let's save Kukui. Let's how because we do need some draw. Let's go for that. There's our Nitto Queen, which is good. Whoops. Put it on the correct one. We'll also get Charmander out because we have a couple Charmeleons. And we want to get our other Rapidash, I think. If we can. We can. Or we can get a Nidorina. I think it'll be better to do Rapidash though. Just so we can keep keep a little bit on the board. And let's look through here real quick. We have one Nidoqueen Queen left, which is fine. Two Charizards left. Uh, we just need one more Charmander. Uh, Ponyta and our 13 energies in the old deck. All right, so let's grab Rapidash. Bang. We'll put Rapidash here. Um, let's go ahead and agility on this thing. Hopefully we can get a heads on this. And we can get a heads to get rid of this. But I'm, I'm going to be looking for the heads right here um, to be a little bit better. So let's go ahead and do that. Come on, baby heads. Oh, oh that was ugly. Two tails in a row. Um, so this Rapidash may be going down here very soon. Um, and that leaves us in sort of a, kind of a, kind of sort of a bad spot. Uh, Fire Fang, 30, 70, 80, 90. So our Rapidash should be able to survive this. And he does, she does. He or she, I don't know. I don't even know. All right, so we got our Charmeleon. Um, I think it would be prudent this time to go ahead and grab Charizard. Um, and then I'll start working on getting that other Nidoqueen Queen out. Um, 60, 120. So we don't still don't need a Kukui yet. But I do want to put an energy on to our other Rapidash. Oh, we have Charizard in our hand. Ooh, so I can definitely get Nid uh, Nidorina this time. Let's do it this way, because if I get rid of all my energy off of this Charizard, we won't have to worry about this Aran Guru too, too much. But we can take this Houndoom out, so let's go ahead and do that. Um, not before we Queen's Call for our Nidorina. Okay, let's grab our Nidorina out. That's fine. Uh, no Kukui this time. We may need it later. Let's go ahead and agility this thing and get it gone. Uh, and then we are going to lose our Rapidash right now. Even though we got the heads. Jeez. And there goes our burn. Okay. So let's put in... Um, 
Let's put in Rapidash because Orangiru has absolutely nothing on him right now. So we don't really have to worry about much. Um, Charizard can go in uh, in a minute and kill that Orangiru if need be. Um, if our opponent does not get another basic Pokemon, we have this one inside the bag. Um, but we may have to fight a little bit more. That Great Ball may slow us down just a teensy tiny bit. Uh, but with two Nidoqueens Queens on board, um, we're going to be in a really, really good spot. Uh, because next turn I can Nidoqueen Queen and I can Nidoqueen Nidoqueen Queen again for another basic Pokemon. Uh, timer ball it up and just get whatever it is that we need. Um, and there's this good old Stuffle. Alright, let's go ahead and get our other Nidoqueen Queen like we were going to do. Okay, we'll grab that. Put this here. Hello? Let's go ahead and Queen's Call for our other Charmander. Get that out. Thank you very much. We're all ready to go with that one. We do not need a Timer Ball right at this moment. Um, but what I think I'm going to do is Continuous Blaze Ball this thing um, just to get it out of my face. So let's go ahead and put this energy on to here. Just so we can have a Nidoqueen Queen ready to go. Let's get this out. Let's do this. Let's Roaring Resolve. Ten more energies left in the deck. That's perfect. No Timer Ball. No Kukui needed. Um, let's do it. And we'll get rid of this bad boy. Okay, and then we all, the only thing we have to contend with is a Stuffle. Um, I think if my opponent would have gotten his High Dragon in, it would have been a much different um, scenario. A much different scenario, um, but since my opponent was lacking his High Dragons, um, we were able to uh, really pull forward. Um, this guy's going to still be rolling towards that High Dragon, but, uh, but we got Beware going down. There it is. And, uh, and we could have taken out that other one, um, the Dino. So, uh, looks good. I think I think that was a pretty good game. Um, pretty textbook, nice little warm-up. Uh, so stay tuned. We are going to jump into a, uh, a tournament here. Um, still haven't got those five. I don't know if I'm going to make it. Two more days to get up here. Uh, I'm going to have to record or play some more games. Um, but I hope you guys had a really fun time watching. I had a really fun time playing. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next one.